everybody, and welcome to another fantastic edition of the Celebrity Creator Show. Brian, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to get this young man back on our stage. Well, you know, I'm excited as well, but I know you are particular, particularly because you're so techy and geeky. And I just want to let everybody know that that's okay for me to say that because um, that's what you say about yourself. But listen, I want to tell everybody about this phenomenal man sitting over here to my right. I think I finally get the directions correct here. <laughs> Brian has been a software engineer for 24 plus years. And you know, I'm kind of excited about getting to the 25, just because I'm there and I think he ought to be there too. Not as a software engineer, but anyway. <laughs> Brian is a speaker, an author, he is an avid social media enthusiast, and by that, I mean, he is very adept at Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and he's been playing around in the circles in Google+. Plus. I watch you. <laughs> in addition to that, Brian put together, and I've shared this with some people, for, but for those of you who do not know this, Brian put together a fabulous name site, amassed over 50,000 plus Twitter followers. Now he didn't sell the Twitter followers because that's not legal, but he did sell that main site for a tidy sum. And the Twitter account was kind of a bonus. Absolutely phenomenal. So that will give you an idea of why all of the creativity that you see around me, the graphics, the site, all the beautiful things that are put together that look great on the outside and it looks like a bunch of kind of gobbledygook to me on the inside is all due to Brian's creativity and knowledge. Brian, I'm going to stop it right there. I could say much, much more about you tonight, but I know that we've got lots to talk about with our friend. So I'm going to say kind of keep it at a minimum with me too, if you will, because we want to get everything in that we can with our guests. Oh, no way. Now that it's my you. turn, I get, I get to do as long as I want. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> once again. Another fantastic gobbledygook. That's a technical term I had not heard of before. I'm going to have to look that one up. That was I think good. I got that from my grandmother. I don't know. <laughs> well, I would like to introduce everyone to this wonderful young lady here to my left, Kathy Stover. Now, she has, she's just a treasure trove of experience in the world of business and marketing. And I really want to emphasize marketing here uh, because she's got over 25 years. We, she's talking about 24, 25 experience as an operations manager and sales manager and this is at a fortune 500 company so that's that's nothing to sneeze at but it, it, that's just barely scratching the surface and i'll try to be succinct here kathy but my goodness i don't know where i don't even know where to begin if i have to if i have to shorten it up so much but she has excelled in affiliate marketing and network marketing uh in, in unbelievable ways and that's one reason we are both so unbelievably excited for our guests that's coming up uh, because this is right down our alley uh, she has experience as a professional speaker. Uh, she's also penning a book. And most recently, she's become a highly successful social media strategist. Yeah, I dabble and play in those circles, but this woman is a professional when it comes to social media. And you, you name it, she's a professional. She, not just how to post on Facebook and the minimal stuff and the marketing and, and a lot of things you see on the internet, but she strategizes uh, how to put all of these together. It's a long story, it's great stuff. Uh, she's very, very well connected, uh, big, in large part due to her social media prowess. And she's responsible for bringing many of the guests you see come on our show week in and week out. Now, Kyle, the guy we have coming on next that uh, Kathy is going to introduce, we met a while back. And uh, I'll, just let, I'll just let you take that part, Kathy, because I get excited. I love this guy. I really do. He's, he's a phenom. But, Kathy, uh, I'm going to hand it back over to you. Everyone, this is Kathy Stover of The Celebrity Creators. Yep. Brian, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I'll tell you what, we have had our next guest on. This is going to be his third time. And every time, Brian just salivates because they have this kind of, I don't know, thing going on when it comes to tech, technical things. But I want to tell you a little bit about our guest. Kyle is an internet entrepreneur working full-time online since 2005. Now, Kyle is a veteran website designer he is behind TwitClicks, Viral Tweets, Ambit Update, JV Genie, and Wildfire. That's the new one, and the list is growing. 
Wildfire, as I just said, is his latest endeavor that will turn your websites, your blogs, and your social profiles into a turnkey viral list building machine that creates highly motivated floods of traffic for you on autopilot. It's amazing. We would like you to join us in welcoming our guest tonight, Kyle Graham. Kyle, welcome back to the show with us. Thank you, thank you. It's great to be here. It's been a while, but I'm happy to be back. Oh, you! I can't tell you, the happiness is more on our side than yours because this is going to be one geeked out show. I love it. But we're going to do this so that everyone can understand it in layman's terms. But I've seen your work. I mean, I have seen your work. I mean, down to the source code level, more than most people would ever venture. And this gentleman can put some pretty dynamic and clean code together. Uh, I come from a defense atmosphere where it's very rigid and regimented, and we have to. Uh, we're reviewed. Uh, Kyle can do it any way he wants. He chooses to do the right way. I'm so impressed by what he's done, and you, well, let's just get into it because this is going to be awesome. Uh, what Kyle has just developed, I'm so excited for him uh, and for everyone here who decides to take a, a, a serious look at what he's doing of late. Now, Kyle, the topic for tonight's show is viral marketing. Now, we hear so much about viral marketing uh, these days, and it seems rather cumbersome and difficult, actually, to do right. Is there truly a proven yet easy method by which to go about viral marketing? Um, actually, yeah, yeah. A lot of people get viral marketing wrong, um, but I, uh, over over the years, and maybe we can talk about it a little. Over the years, I've I've kind of developed a system that has actually, you know, <coughs> worked every single time I, I've I've tried it. Now, the the thing with vir with viral marketing, and we'll probably get into it in more detail, is it depends on what you define as success. Viral marketing, there's an actual officially a technical term of what viral marketing is, and a lot of people don't hit it. But even if you don't hit it, you can mu multiply your efforts by orders of magnitude um, just by trying. So my kind of my big thing is just try it because it's literally impossible to fail, and I'll explain, I'll explain why, why as, we go, as we go forward. <clears throat> Well, so with respect, you know, because we're talking about traffic, and this this eludes a lot of people. But um, when you're talking about traffic and lead generation, what is wrong with the traditional methods like SEO, search engine optimization, pay per click, social media, affiliate marketing, um, and why don't they work as well? Or should we switch exclusively? to like viral marketing. Okay, well, <clears throat> there, there's actually nothing wrong with your traditional approaches in that they work. All Everything that you've learned about ser uh, search engine optimization, pay-per-click, they all work, but there's a couple of um, challenges with them. Uh, we've all heard of information overload and everyone's always stressed out and busy and then you hear of these people that are doing so well, you know, the four-hour work week and all that stuff, and we can't seem to do it. And that's because these things take a lot of time. If you're running search engine optimization, you have to set up articles, you have to do blogs, um, and it's just, it, it can literally, you can literally crumble under your efforts. But the tricky part to it is that it actually does work. If you do set up your blogs and your articles and stuff, you can see traffic uh, and you can see leads and, 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 you know, if you do it right. But it's, it takes a long time to do and you can mess it up. What viral marketing does, if you do it right, is it turns it on its head. You can actually um, um, leverage other people to do the same, to do those things for you. So if you create a contest or um, uh, some kind of campaign where you incentivize other people to spread the message for you, they can do your article marketing, they can tweet for you, they can blog for you, and they'll be happy to do it, and the benefits are just phenomenal when you get people to do it for you. And that's kind of the trick with viral marketing. It's not necessarily another strategy or another campaign. It's a more leverage, uh, a more uh, uh, leveraged way to do what you would normally do. Does that make any sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah, actually. so essentially you get you get others to be your so soldiers, if you will. Right. right. So I'll give you an example. We we ran a couple partners and I, 
uh, ran a campaign last year, uh, probably around last year this time, and um, we were right down to the wire. If you've ever done a product launch, you know that it can be an extremely hectic thing. And there's only like three of us working on this campaign. And so we're right down to the wire. We have to set up web pages and all this stuff. And then we, you know, actually marketing the thing was kind of like an afterthought. So we came up with an idea is let's um, see if we can incentivize other people to do some of this, these things for you, for us. So we found some people, some friends and stuff, and we basically gave them, you know, a cut of the deal. We gave them different incentives to help us spread. And so we found, we actually ended up getting 400 people to agree to do it and far less people actually helped us to um, spread the message and what happened in fact if you can do a search online right now and you'll see that collectively there were let me see if I can remember 800,000 different Google wow. posts you can uh, actually uh, you can go to uh, Google right now and in quotations do JV attraction formula and you'll see that there's eight um, either 200 right now but at the time it was 800,000 different articles and uh, conversations about that term and it all happened in less than seven days. Oh, now gosh, imagine man. doing it yourself. <laughs> now if you could do it yourself, you absolutely would get a lot of traffic, raise the number one on Google, but can you do that yourself? Absolutely not. Even if you had a large team that you were paying to do it, it's extremely hard to do it. But just by leveraging other people and creating a viral campaign where you incentivize people to do the work for you, you can get the same results as search engine optimization, pay-per-click, and all that stuff. So it's just a leveraged way of looking at marketing. And the thing I love about what you do, uh, Kyle, obviously, is because you're in the world of automation, and that's that's just always flipped my trigger. It's yeah. It's been the code or the nut I've been trying to crack for years because when it comes down to selling anything, it truly does come down to, most often, a relationship business and how do you automate right. relationships so the way you have put this together you can first reach out to those that you know and use them as Kathy uh, indicated as your army to then further spread the word so you have other people referring you that have never potentially even met you before but because it came from a trusted source of theirs then it goes viral and works Oh, it's here and stuff. It's, 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 I think, the most powerful, by far the most powerful form of marketing because you're doing the traditional marketing things that are proven to work, but in a much higher leverage fashion. So, take for example, let's, like, if you do a search on Alexa at the top 10 websites, top 10 traffic websites, you're going to see websites like Google, Facebook, and Twitter. These are, these are websites that kind of came out of nowhere and just exploded to where they have multiple millions and they then they turn into these billion dollar companies and it's driven by that single thing um, viral marketing and if you notice something about these companies like go ahead and, and you know if our listeners want to go ahead and go to Alexa and look at the and look at these people you'll see that they don't have an article marketing strategy they don't do pay-per-click they don't do SEO or blogs or anything like that for the purpose of traffic and lead generation Yet they're the number one, number two hot, most traffic websites um, on the planet, and not just traffic. They're multi, multi-billion-dollar companies. So they're clearly doing something better than what we're doing. And my theory, and it's pretty obvious, is that they're leveraging others to spread the word for you. They have these in, these viral systems inside of their site that will help people to spread the word either by talking amongst themselves spreading it outside of their platform you know people blog about them because of this insane viral action that's going on and then they it, you know so you have something that just explodes exponentially it's a much more it's a much more powerful way of 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 growing and building a business well let's pull the curtain back a little bit here and dive in uh, I'm sure a lot of people are curious, and, and I'm biting at my tongue myself. I can't wait. What are the steps involved in actually creating and executing a successful viral marketing campaign? Okay, well, I've broken it down into four simple steps, and this is really what it comes down to, and each of these steps are very, very deep and very powerful. And you can find these four steps in every single viral campaign um, on the planet. Um, now, I'll just before I get into them, I'll just kind of share how I arrived at these steps, and then you know, it'll take about a minute, but it'll make sense. Oh, that'd be awesome. Time. So it, it started like maybe um, in 2009, in 2008 actually. My first project was Twiclix, and basically I created this um, this 
product without any thought to how I was going to market it. And at the last minute, I said, "Hey, let's give away this product for free, but let's only or or let's after they um, after they get into the product, we're going to ask them to share." Um, the product with other people on Twitter. So we created something that allows people to share the product on Twitter. So a very simple viral campaign. And so what happened is almost by accident, just by putting that in, we ballooned to 77,000 visitors per month just by wow. allowing people to share it with other people. And now this wasn't something that I intentionally engineered. There were no other marketing strategies that I did. It was kind of luck of the draw by putting this in and it spiraled out of control. So that got me down this path of viral, mar of viral marketing. So right after that, a lot of people were like, oh, how did you do that? How do you do that? So we built a software that allowed people to do that. Um, and that was called Viral Tweets. And that was the next thing we did. We launched it the same way. We said, hey, in order to get this product, we want you to spread it. And then when you spread it, you'll get it. Now that went out of control um, as well. And that grew, uh, we were the number one most tweeted um, link on Twitter for that day and we built an entire business off of that single viral tweet. Amazing. Okay. Then moving on we did that project that I just talked about where we got those people to give us 800,000 800, posts just by asking them to <laughs> and then a couple months ago we did it again with um, um, a, a software plugin called VoicePress using the same strategy here you can have it just spread it to other people and that has gone crazy and, and, and um, you know we have thousands of people that have downloaded that now all of that didn't have any type of traditional marketing strategy it all ran on autopilot because we just simply incentivized other people to do it for for us now through those four experiences I you know just kind of astonished by the results myself I started to codify what we did that went that was right and I, and now I can break it down into these four simple strategies and every single time you apply it you're going to see measurable results so if you have a pen I, I definitely encourage you to write it down <laughs> we're ready <laughs> better believe we're ready. It's, kind of, it's kind of your roadmap to creating viral campaigns so anyway I'll jump into it the number one thing is to have a strong incentive a strong incentive when um, when you're running a viral campaign because you have to give people a reason to spread your message. So, like the last one we did was uh, this a plugin called VoicePress. It helps people to um, dictate their WordPress posts using um, voice recognition. Wow! Um, so it was a, it was a it was kind of a novel thing. It was something that people really um, liked the idea of, and we said, "Here, we'll just give it to you for free, but spread it first. Now we can talk about how you can monetize these things mm -hmm. later, but the idea is you give someone a strong incentive um, to spread your message. Number two, you have to have you need to have a strong catalyst, and what that is is you need um, a lot of people, and it's actually not necessary, but it only will help if you have a lot of people to to kick off your campaign for you. So a simple thing that someone can do is you have a marketing um, a product that you want to to sell. It's of a strong. It's a strong incentive, and then you want to get a bunch of your buddies to spread it, to to kick off the viral loop by spreading it for you. So you just get some of your friends and say, "Hey, at 3 p.m. tomorrow, I want you to send out this Twitter message, um, you know, to say go to this um, to go to this page and download this product or, or whatever it is." Okay. So in other words, you're like enlisting an army, but a little bit smaller and kind of tight tight to the chest. So it's your buddies, and then. And then it takes off from there because right. they so if, right totally. So if you think of what a viral campaign is, it's like a it's a viral expansion loop where you have some idea or some product where people come, they share it, and then more those people come and they share it, and it kind of explodes in this in this expansion situation. So in order to kickstart it, you you want to have many people kickstart it. So if you think in like the offline wor world of like a traditional viral camp, a uh, viral, what's it called, a flu or something, mm -hmm. the more people to to initiate the epidemic, the better you are. So, and I'm kind of tongue in cheek here, but if you wanted to like um, infect the entire world with a deadly virus, what you want to do is strategically place um, people with that virus at key components of the world uh, in in the world. So you want to go to the places of high distribution you want to go to the airport you want to go to the um, 
uh, the place where they mint money or you want to go to the water supply, but you want to have a lot of people to kind of kickstart the campaign. So you and want you your have, friends sneezing all over everybody. That's the idea. In fact, that, that's the exact word I use is you need to find some sneezers, okay? Yeah. So, and, and, that, and, and the more sneezers you have, the more chances you have of, of the virus to spread. So even though I talk about it in the offline and in, in the bad sense, it can work in the good sense if you strategically have, you know, sneezers and particularly people of, of high income. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> so I'll actually, ex um, here's an idea. I had a launch that I did a couple of years ago and one of the people I tapped was Brian because he had this big Twitter list um, of, I don't remember, it was a lot of people back then. And I said, hey, can you send out this tweet for me? Because I knew that if I wanted, you know, this campaign to get going, I needed people like him who had that influence to start my message, okay? Um, another way to look at that is like your traditional affiliates. Those, if you have an affiliate, those are sneezers. Those are people who are going to spread your message. But what makes it really powerful is once the message is spread, if you can take that message and cycle it back around um, so that those people spread. But I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> the third... <laughs> The third um, kind of component of every single successful viral campaign is the KISS principle. And I, I say it's keep it smooth and simple. <laughs> oh, okay, keeping it smooth and simple. Obviously, the more complicated your campaign is, the, more, the less chances people have to spread it. People want, you know, it needs to be real smooth where as soon as they come in, they see something and they spread it. Um, I'm not trying to promote this, but a good example of this is the VoicePress sub plugin. Um, if anyone goes to voicepress.it slash PWAT, that's, um, that's a campaign that I'm talking about. When people get there, there's pretty much one button they can click on. So it's a very, very simple thing. And it's also very smooth in that they want, as soon as they click on that button, a Twitter window up opens up and it basically says, hey, We'll give you this for free, just click the tweet button. They click the tweet button and they get it. So it's a very smooth and simple campaign. What was that URL again, Had I incorporated again, other things like, oh, you can also spread on Twitter. Oh, you can also dig it. And you see those campaigns where you can do this, you can do that, you can do that, and people get, you know. Yeah, it's um, too much. Yeah, it's too much. They get yeah. paralyzed with choices. That's so you right. give them one simple choice, keep it smooth and simple, and that's going to increase the likelihood that you're going to succeed with your viral campaign. What was that URL again, uh, Kyle? Uh, VoicePress, kind of like WordPress, but VoicePress mm -hmm. dot .it. IT. So instead of dot .com, dot .it forward slash PWAT. That's pay with a tweet, so PWAT. All right, cool. I just it got... is a simple, I mean, you don't have to download the plugin, but it's, a, it's just, you know, you can spread it very, very simply. So that was number three of four, you know, vi uh, steps to successful viral campaigns. And you'll see this. You go to, you know, you see any successful campaign. If you, when you signed up for Twitter, um, they have a very successful viral loop. Um, very smooth, very, very easy to do. Uh, same with Facebook. Um, so you'll see these steps everywhere. There's a viral, um, successful viral campaign. So the last step to a successful viral campaign is really the most important. It's not viral unless the viral turns into a loop where people come, see the campaign, spread the campaign, or see the campaign, and then they have to be invited to spread that campaign. Now the trick, the trick is you have to spread the campaign in such a way that the new visitors come to that viral campaign. Does wow. that make sense? Yes. So if you create a viral a viral campaign and you're sending people to the home page of your website, you're not completing the viral loop. And that's number four, completing the viral loop. You're just sending them somewhere else. You want to send them to the camp to the exact campaign. So you keep that loop very tight. And that's that's how you create a viral campaign. Now, the cool thing with viral campaigns is if you augment an existing marketing campaign. So here's here's an here's an example that anyone on this call can take to the bank. It will, it will work every single time you try it. Most people have um, a lead capture page on their site or a landing page, mm -hmm. some way to, to collect emails or whatever. If after people see that, or after people download or, or register or you know sign up for your email newsletter, you take them to one of these campaigns where you basically say, hey, to get an additional 
let's say you have a free report, right? Your, your free report will tell you how to do X, Y, and Z. After they register for that report, on the other side it says, okay, we've sent you your report, but if you want the missing chapter, some missing component, we want you to tell three friends, okay? If after you tell three of your friends, we're going to give you this missing chapter or something of greater value. So you might be getting 10 emails a day, 10 email opt-ins a day. As soon as you stick something like that in your, in your campaign, it's going to increase. It's not going to decrease because every one of those 10 people are now invited to share it with their friends. And that's the key with these viral campaigns is you can't lose. It can only help. So that's what I mean when I say it, it, you will always do better the more of, of these viral campaigns that you can do. So, I mean, I guess the big takeaway from this is by any means necessary, you need to augment your current marketing strategy with viral campaigns. And, yeah. and that campaign alone that I just mentioned, I've uh -huh. seen, I mean, almost out the gate, even if you mess up, can double and even triple the amount of leads that you get just by putting that in place. That's insane. Well, I just want to tell you, somebody named Lawton is saying um, to you, Kyle, sup? Sup? Hey, I know Lawton. Why don't you ask me any questions? He's saying sup. Well, t well tell him sup. <laughs> yep, yeah, he can hear you. We're glad to have you on. What's he saying? Oh, good time. Yes. Well, yeah, I'm definitely. sure, I don't know, I'm getting this kind of, I'm getting some vibes. We could hear some good stuff out of this guy. <laughs> um, you know, it's been awesome because you are sharing all of the really cool, great things to set up a campaign, the four important things to do in order to get one moving or get it going. Um, would you mind sharing with us, you know, for those that have never been involved or have heard a lot about viral campaigns, what are the things that we shouldn't do? Oh, nice. <laughs> um, what are the things you shouldn't do? Well, one thing you shouldn't do is ignore what, what, what's happening here um, because, because you can continue getting your, the results you're getting or you can do better. And it's really, really hard to mess it up. You can only do better. So that's one thing not to do is to ignore what's, what, what you're hearing. Um, then maybe, maybe you're asking, like, how can you mess certain things up? Um, well, I already said it's hard to mess things up. But one thing you can do is um, if you complicate it. And that's one of my biggest challenges. Uh -huh. um, so when you're creating a viral campaign, like, and I don't, I don't think that this is a bad idea, but one, maybe an example of this is you go to people's blog, you see all these, you get, you see a hundred options to, to share the post. Now, if you have that, you know, don't stop doing that. But that's kind of the examples that I'm talking about is like over, over like giving people too many choices, right. confusing people. And those, those are a couple of things that I can think of, of how you can mess it up. But like I said, this is, this viral marketing multiplies your efforts. It's hard to have viral campaigns, you know, subtract from your efforts. So, and that's one... I don't know, being cool with it, just being cool about what you're giving away, not like being overly aggressive, that tends to have a negative effect. Um, giving away something that isn't free, you need to give something super high value. In fact, the more value you get, you give the, the higher chances it's going to spread. You know, stuff like that. That's one of the reasons we you know, like you so much. No. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You, you walk the walk. You don't just talk the talk. You 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 epitomize everything you just talked about. Uh, we've known you long enough. We've seen your products, and like I said, from the inside <laughs> out. And you are you are the epitome of what you're just saying. You keep everything simple. Uh, very clean, very, I mean, it's, your websites are clean and simple. It's like, I know exactly where to go, what to do next, um, because you've made it that simple. And because it's so simple, I'm like, wow, I'm going to do this. And so everything you're saying is absolutely correct. You are a man of integrity. So the things you give away that are of great value are truly of great value, especially for those that act on and use those things you're giving out. That's another mistake I think some people make is, you know, if they get something for free, that's how they value it. And they may not do anything with it. But you gave them some. Well, you know what value. I think it is, Brian. Sometimes when people see free, they are so worried there's something. Yeah. There's got to be a catch or something behind it, right. and it, it sounds like for for a viral program to work like this, it needs to be a great free product, high value, high content. So 
that's a great point to let everybody know just because you see it and it's free does not necessarily mean that there's something behind it you're, you're actually getting a phenomenal product yeah and I'll actually tell maybe a brief story about that I'm not the type of guy like you ask any of my friends or families I'm the type of guy that's considered you know complicated and I always will complicate things and it's actually through experience that I did that I um, kind of learned what I'm talking about now so you go to any of my like you said they're very simple and very clean that's not because I'm that type of guy I learned that like I'll give a quick story like I had a site and the people who were coming I was getting maybe six percent of them actually doing anything on my site so really really bad and I found that over time, over the course of about a year of experimentation, that the simpler I made it, the simpler I made it, the more percent, the higher that percentage is. It's now to a point where it's between 50 and 60 percent of people will actually do stuff. And if you go to the site now, it's extremely, extremely simple. Same with that voice press site. The simpler that I made it, the higher results. So it's not so much like that's just the right thing to do or, or anything, it's it actually works. The numbers actually do show it. And in terms of value, one of the one of the benefits of viral marketing, oh um, besides getting a ton of traffic, besides getting a lot of leads and sales, it, that no one really talks about is the relationship that you can build with people. Mm. By giving away something free and of high value, the likelihood, number one, um, they're more than happy to spread your message. Right. Number two, when they come on their on your website, they came off of an endorsement from other people. And when they actually come and they get that high value, the likelihood of them actually buying the thing you have is super high. So, you know, people might think, Oh, I'm a guy that's great, I have high integrity and maybe maybe that's true or maybe it's not true. But the reality is that it works. You give people think something of super high value, what comes back in return is you know, uh, much more engagement with your customers, more traffic because they're spreading your message, and um, your click-through rates improve, your conversion, rate, everything gets better by just being a good person and giving away things of high value. And you know, I've got to say, Brian, just listening to him talk, I'm just like going, ah! You know, just I've got so many things just flying through my head. I know you do too because you spent some time going through, through his product today. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, it is just like Ooh. it's over the top. Yeah, it's on that note, exciting. that's a good segue. Uh, for those of you watching right now, you'll see Kyle's still image beneath us. I think he's leaning, I think, this way a little bit. Looks like he's in a library. Uh, don't do this right oh, now, right. but click on his nose later, and that will take you directly to his Facebook page. Uh, be sure to hook up with him there. Get to know him. You'll you'll like the person you find out who he is. He is of high integrity. No matter what he says on this show, he is. <laughs> <laughs> and... Definitely hook up with them there, but more importantly, as we are going to get into this a little later, but down beneath us, there's a, a nice logo that says Wildfire, and that's going to be the subject of our second half of our show here, and definitely click on that, and you'll be taken directly to yet another highly simple, yet very well thought out website where you'll be introduced or, or you will be met with a video uh, that introduces uh, what Kyle has just finished burning up wildfire get it <laughs> anyway be sure to click on that but after the show don't do it yet because uh, and on that note Kyle please remind me when you want to play that little video we got queued up when we get down there Oh, okay um, all right all right all right enough theory enough theory we've talked we've talked we're bouncing all around it Kyle what's an easy viral marketing campaign we can run right now to see some results <laughs> I actually gave it away. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, it's such a simple campaign, and I'll just go over it real, real, real quick again because it, it works every single time. Take your leads and multiply it with what I call an opt-in multiplier campaign. After people give you their email, you got to give them an opportunity to spread your message to get something else. It's just a perfect... Um, many people have heard of the, the, the good old upsell, do you want fries with that, where after someone buys something, the likelihood of them buying something more is, is, is high. Well, it's the same concept with after they give you their email, the likelihood of them doing something else for you is high. And if you incentivize them um, you know, by giving something of good value to share it with three of their friends, you know, that's tripling your, your, that's tripling 
what you get if provided they actually do it. And the trick to making it work, so I already talked about how to do it, but the trick to actually making it work is to make that, that thing that you give away complement the first thing that they got. So case in point, let's say you have um, a report. I said give away a missing chapter. Let's say you give away a video. You want to give a complimentary video. Um, so something that complements, but ideally is of higher value. You see what I'm saying? Or oh, yeah. like in one case, I'll, I'll give away a video to get the lead, to get the email, and then I'll give away a software to get the referral. Uh, and the, 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 the net yeah. result of that is every lead that you get obviously multiplies to be two or three leads. So, I mean, it's something that can be applied like within minutes, especially obviously using my software, but it's, it works. It definitely works. And you know, Kyle, I got to say this to most people when you talk about viral trafficking or viral traffic, viral marketing, it sounds big and scary and and hard and how do I do it? And so far what you've shared with us certainly simplifies it. Like Brian pointed out, your sites are so streamlined and smooth and easy. So it puts it into a more a more palatable place for the average um, business owner to utilize a program like this and make a huge difference in their marketing and their traffic generation. So I, that, it rocks. I love it. Yeah, and one of the things I'll say is, I mean, I guess I've said it before, but just adding a little viral marketing can go a long way. And, and that's one thing people don't understand with, um, like, when you think about, you know, you've probably heard of the law of compounding, you know, um, it's the, the, the strongest force in the universe. So just a little can go a long way. So if someone, some, a lot of people are daunted with, oh, it might be technical to get it set up. Just add a right. little. Just add a very, very little thing because the cool thing is once you see some results, you can take the results or the proceeds from that results and improve on it. If you start tracking it, you can improve on it and do something more complicated. A lot of people look at Facebook and Twitter and see these you know, intricate, complicated viral campaigns. Right. They didn't start that. You may start with just a very, very simple, you know, tell a friend campaign, and you'll see measurable results. Now, the cool thing is, I took those those issues, those fears, you know, of the technical hurdles and stuff, and I created a software that will help you get, you know, even complicated stuff. But even if you don't have a tool like Wildfire, start small, see results, and then improve those results. Awesome. Well, I just want to tell you, you're. Uh... <laughs> Your friend um, Owen saying sup sup, so he's like doing double sup. <laughs> okay, okay. Tell <laughs> Owen, who I, who I know pretty well, <laughs> I, I said what's up right back. I'm sure he can hear me. <laughs> yeah, he did a little smiley face too. So you get okay. a smiley face with that as well. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, you know, obviously, social networks play an important role. I mean, they're everywhere, and that's how we're connecting and and all of that. But does it matter for a viral type program like this? How many connections you have, followers, um, you know, whatever we're calling everybody in these social media platforms? Does it matter as to what the success a viral campaign will actually end up being? Um, <clears throat> yes, 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 and no. Um, this 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 question kind of relates back to this um, the second. Um, factor of, of those key things where, where I say you need to have a strong catalyst, okay? So obviously you're talking about the people who actually help spread your message. There's a number of, of followers and stuff they have, sort of. The, the key is if you have, um, you want to go after people who are influential, so may have the volumes, but more importantly, you, um, well, you want to have people who are influential, not necessarily people who have these strong volumes. You want to have you want to go after people who have a tight relationship with their list or with their followers and things like that. Now, th those are the people you might go after initially, but once a campaign starts going, I mean, it, it's like it's like wildfire; it goes out of control. Um, <laughs> so you you end up getting all kinds of people. So right. you start with a few key players, and then after a while, it goes it just goes out of control. So you get people with little lists, big amounts of followers, lots of people. Um, the main thing is not something that um, I would worry about. I would just find a couple people. In fact, um, one of the things I, I, um, I would do if I don't have anybody is I would just start with my own followers. I just go on Facebook and 
initially spread the link, but just as long as you have that viral loop very tight and simple, that will spin that will spin out of control. In fact, that's how we launched Voice Press. I didn't have people I said, hey, let's go launch this at the same time. I just put out a message on, you know, in my different in sphere of influence and it took off from there. I got people writing about it and, you know, it just spins out of control. Well, you know, talking about spinning, actually, you've got one of our viewers, Michael, saying that this has got his head spinning. <laughs> and, and, and you know what? We are, we are so there with you. And then Robert is asking if you would be able to give an example on how to use a viral program like this um, with a mobile app. Oh, I love that question. Mobile app. Good, good, good question, because mobile, mobile is super, super powerful. Yes. Perfect example. This is the first thing that pops in my head. If you hit me up after, I might be able to get into some more examples. But um, 2008, and this blew me away when it happened. So 2008, I'm watching TV. Uh, pre um, for, not, not President Obama. Pre um, what's it? The, the... Bush. Bush. No, Bush? Pre uh, it, it was Obama, but the he was running for president. Oh, okay. running for president. Okay. So he's about to give a, a, a talk, and he has he's in front of this huge stadium. And what they have is a little game going on. So they have on the screen a map of the United States. And basically through the whole, in the whole stadium, they say, okay, um, what do you say? Text your state to this, to this number, this short code or something. Okay? And what that did is by texting um, their state to this number, it would light up the map and, you know, just entertain everybody in the stadium and the state that would win. So it was like a little game, okay? But what happened <laughs> is that in that stadium, they collected, I don't know, however many dozens of thousands of mobile numbers that they turned around and now they're campaigning. Now that even to this day, they're probably sending uh, mobile messages too. Now, in that, so that's like the first half of a viral campaign. In that um, strategy, one of the things, I haven't seen that yet because I didn't text it, but what I'm sure that they're doing, I think I did read that they do do this, is in terms of completing the viral loop, what they, what they I'm sure are doing is they say, they send out a, a message to all those people with their phone and we say, invite some of your friends. <clears throat> or, wow. hey, we're about to attend this rally, you know, send this text message to, to your friends. So what happens is, just from a pure number standpoint, they get maybe, I don't know, 10,000 mobile messages, mobile message, which alone is great. And then that spins out of control because it multiplies by those people spreading them. That's just the first thing that comes to my head. There's other ideas of my mobile landing pages, which we actually have in the, in the wildfire software, mm. where you can get people to tweet. I mean, mm. there's a lot that you can do because mobile is just another platform to spread the message. But these principles, these four principles that I've outlined is where it all comes, is where all the, the viral ideas right. come from. How can you wow. turn, create these viral loops that way? My goodness. Beautiful. Oh, talk about spinning heads. Mine's just about to come <laughs> off. <laughs> Come straight yeah, off. It. Well, you know, we, we've already seen the advantages uh, that viral marketing can do for someone with a minimal list. You just pointed it out where you had really not a huge list. You sent it out and you, you got quite a bit of benefit. But how truly viral can viral get? I mean, that's, that's a very vague question, but w what are the limitations to it, if any? <laughs> well, in terms of like, well, you can create a, uh, a a company valued at $100 billion called Facebook, I mean, <laughs> all in the span of a few short years. Um, you can create, you know, Twitter, which has, I don't know, 100 million users or, or some crazy number like that. Wow. And if you look at, like, man, it's just so wild. It gets me so excited how these companies are able to appear out of nowhere just with these simple viral campaigns that they don't spend money on. That's the, the other like mind-blowing thing is you don't have to spend money on it. You just leverage other people to do it. So you can obviously, I mean, I know, I know how you're asking that, but like you can go extremely viral. But what I'll actually um, maybe get a little bit more scientific okay. is there's an actual viral number that can measure how viral you are. And so in terms of strategically getting tremendously viral, is you, you need to pay attention to this number. It's called the viral coefficient, okay? Um, and it, it can get complicated, but it's just a simple number that determines how fast you can grow. And there's a critical um, um, 
point that you reach when you're officially viral, and that's the no, that's the a viral coefficient of one. Okay. Now you can there's tools you can use, and I have a spreadsheet that I have that that you can measure. And actually, in the software, in the vi wildfire software, I'm not trying to over pitch it, but mm -hmm. it, it will do it. It'll do the measurements for you. Okay. And so wow. what this viral this coefficient does is, if you have a minimally viral campaign, you might be at a zero point one. Okay, you can see, you know, viral growth in that when you one person might net, you know, a certain amount of people. But what happens is that eventually it'll die down. If you don't, if you stop stoking the fire and adding more people into that viral funnel, um, you know, it just tapers off and, and, and dies out, which is fine because right now most people have a viral coefficient of zero. They're doing no viral, no, nothing viral. And lots of people create tremendously big businesses that way, you know, just pure search and optimization, pay per click. You just keep sending people to your website and they go nowhere. So even a viral coefficient of zero is not the end of the world. But the minute you, you go up to 0 0.1, now you have something that works on its own. If you stop marketing, you would get more customers. Now, the minute you hit a viral coefficient of one, okay, mm -hmm. that's when if you stopped working, it would continue to grow without you. That means for every one person that comes to your website, it turns into another person. Okay? Wow. So if you measure that metric, just like we measure your opt-in rate or you measure your traffic, that's another me metric that you can measure, split test against, and you can increase that virality. Now here's, it's hard to explain in a short conversation yeah. how powerful that is, but like you know, some people may be familiar with traditional split testing where like, you might have a landing page that's at 20% um, opt-in rate. And if you split test the headline, you might get, instead of 20 people out of 100, you might get 25 people out of 100, which yeah. is great. Now, if you have a viral campaign that you're split testing the headline for, a tiny change can net tremendous results. So now you might split test a viral coefficient of 0.9 and you split test a headline and it gets to a one, that could mean the difference between 10 opt-ins a day and 30 opt-ins a day. And if you keep stoking the fire, it, it basically you're it's measuring the, the Yeah, you're, you're not measure it, measuring the number of opt-ins, you're measuring how much the, the number that it multiplies by. Does the that make sense? Yeah, the exponential factor. Yeah. Yeah, so you're not measuring, you have 10 people that, that turn into just nothing. You're now a viral coefficient of a 1 turns that into 20. A viral coefficient of a 1.1 turns that into 30 a day. You see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So, so we're gonna, we are going to be, instead of counting sheep tonight, <laughs> viral whoop de doos going over the fence. Coefficients. Yeah, and so, so when you, the, the thing is, you can, even though it might sound complicated, it, it gets really, really simple. Once you can see what that metric is, yeah. and it's not hard to calculate it, and if someone emails me and doesn't want to buy myself, I'm totally cool with that. I can show them how to calculate it. But once you split test against that, that's the key thing. So you just say, okay, I have a viral coefficient of, of one right now. I'm going to split test my headline, and it's going to grow. But the result is that you're going to see a multiplier effect. So to go back to your question, how viral can you get? Once you know your viral coefficient and you work to improve that, you're always going to get better, but that betterness is exponential. Love so it. huge, huge, huge. Yeah, that's the word I was thinking. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely to... huge. I, I was going to ask, would now be a good time to run the video? Because we're like, I, I mean, we are like getting so close to the end of our hour, and I don't want to miss that. Would, would now be a good time on that? Yeah, it actually would be, and I'll just maybe give a little preamble. So I have this product called Wildfire. You don't have to buy it or not, but but what it does is it takes everything we've been talking about and it makes it super simple. You use it, you can hit a few buttons, and will it will spit out a viral campaign for you. You slap it on your website, and you can see results. So I created a little three-minute video that kind of just shows real quick how you can take everything we've been talking about and get it up on your site in two or three minutes and start, you know, exponentially multiplying your results. <laughs> So roll that clip, Brian. Here we go. I give you wildfire. So let's take a look at a couple of the things that wildfire can do. As soon as you log into wildfire, you're basically going to see an overview of all of the viral campaigns that you've run, including stats on how each campaign is doing, but not just normal stats. You're going to see things like the viral coefficient and even tips on how you can improve your campaign. 
based on Wildfire's interpretation of your stats. So to create a viral campaign, you would just hit this Create New Campaign button, and you're going to see a list of some popular viral campaigns that you can run using the Wildfire software. So what we've done is we've looked at some of the popular viral campaigns that other successful companies use, have used, and we've created a very fast way for you to get it deployed on your website. So one of the things that, we've always, that we're always asked is, how can we get some fast results with Wildfire? So we created a campaign specifically for this purpose called the Optin Multiplier. So what the Optin Multiplier does is it is exactly as it sounds. It's going to multiply the, amount, the, the number of leads that you get on a regular basis. So most websites have some kind of a lead capture form. Um, so this is a simple landing page that asks people for their email address in exchange for a free report. Now most people have something like this, and if you don't have something like this, um, Wildfire can create it for you and deploy it to your website. Basically most, most um, websites have some kind of a lead capture form. So what you can do with Wildfire is after um, they enter their email address in the lead capture form, you can take them to a page that asks them to refer people to, um, to the same landing page. And what this does is it creates a perpetual <coughs> viral cycle that takes each lead and multiplies it into more leads. So it's a very simple campaign, but it has um, exponential results. So once people enter their email address, they, get taken to a they can get taken to a page like this, where if they refer three friends, they can get access to some kind of missing feature. And that has um, the effect of getting people wanting this feature so much that they're willing to invite their friends. So you'll see they can tweet this link, share it on Facebook, Google+, or even add from the address book. Now you'll see Facebook and Twitter using the, um, this, these kind of powerful viral marketing tools. So let's take a look at how we built that. So all you would do is double click on the OptiMultiplier campaign and you just answer a few questions and then you can design it. You can add words like that, um, you know, refer three friends. And then in the automation tab, you can set it up. You can say after three referrals, send the refer an email. You can say, you know, or you can create an email. And also, if you want, after three referrals, you can show a link to get the actual bonus right here. So you can say after three referrals, show this URL, and then you can type your bonus URL right here. And that's all it takes to create a campaign. Now, once you save your campaign, that's it. It's launched. So that, in a nutshell, is Wildfire. Remarkable. And that is not even coming close to <laughs> what this thing can do. I mean, uh, I've already been diving into this, Kyle, and the spreadsheet you're talking about, the viral coefficient, well uh, thought out, well explained, easy to use, by the way. It may have sounded daunting to those and very scientific, uh, but it's really simple. Uh, and you take everyone through it through a simple video. But yeah, we're only scratching the surface what this uh, wildfire, the, the capabilities that it contains. And it, it that doesn't do it uh, enough, <laughs> in my opinion, to explain. And yeah, it probably they, couldn't in a short amount of time. Yeah, I mean, kind of the idea that, that went into this is, I see that the successful companies out there are using viral marketing, but they're not talking about it. There's very little data and, and knowledge about viral marketing. But if you study what people are doing and what they're doing right, it's viral marketing. And so one of the things that I came across with a lot of people is that, you know, I, I, I appreciate the benefits and the value of viral marketing, but one is too hard, I don't understand it, and I don't know how to actually implement it. It's too technical. So this was simply to solve that problem. And also some of the other products that are out there, I mean, and, and I respect some of them, but they solve one specific viral problem, which is great. In fact, one of my former products solved one specific viral um, problem. What I wanted to do is create a comprehensive viral solution. Um, so basically I, I look and I diagnose, I, I study Facebook, I study Twitter, what are they doing right? And then I'll test it um, in, in something, and then I'll take what works, I'll wrap it into a very, very easy to use, um, or easy to create campaign, just like that, and then someone can have, you know, that on their site in a couple minutes or less. So that was the kind of the idea. And so what I showed in that video was just one of the campaigns that I know works almost every single time it's applied, 
that you can get on your site in a couple minutes and see big, big, big results. Well, you know, certainly the possibilities are endless. Um, mm -hmm. You know, Kyle, we ta have talked about it before. Brian and I have both been very, very involved in affiliate marketing. So this, <laughs> this tool, I mean, there, there are like so many things that you can use it for. But affiliate marketing is just, I mean, talking about your head spinning, it would be perfect, right? Mm -hmm. Totally, totally. I mean, well, any any component, I'll, and I'll talk about affiliate marketing, but any component of your marketing can be viralized. That means anything that you're doing can be turned into an exponentially multiplying situation. And it's just hard to communicate how powerful that is. So if you'd like strip viral marketing out of the equation, um, and, 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 like, and I'll bring in viral marketing in, back in a second, but if you take a traditional marketing campaign where you have a certain amount of opt-ins, and you have a certain amount of people that actually buy, and you have a certain amount of people that actually upsell, if mm -hmm. you were to just increase each of those, increase your opt-in rate by 10%, increase your uh, uh, conversion rate by 10%, your upsell rate, you could double your business just by those little incremental improvements, okay? Now that's before you add viral marketing. So you're talking about tiny improvements can double your business before viral marketing. Well, instead of just increasing by 10% here and 10% there, if instead you turn it into this, and turn each step of your campaign into a viral expansion loop, you're not talking about doubling your business or tripling your business. If you're talking about 10x, 100x your business, just like you see what happened to Facebook and Twitter. You're talking about creating you know, a monster. And that's where I want to see, where, where I want Wildfire to take people so that it's not the Facebooks and the Twitters that are having big results. It's anyone. It's any, you know, the mom and pops and stuff. So that was the idea behind it. Now, when you talk about affiliate marketing, that's just one component of your marketing, right. okay? That, that can be viralized. And you're talking about huge results. You can take your affiliates and give them the, the ability to, um, to, to, to run viral campaigns. So now you have you know, a lot of these viral campaigns going and what, when you stack viral campaigns together, wow. it's, it's beyond explosive. You know what I'm talking about? It's like, it's like putting a bunch of bombs in a room. I can't, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's huge. Now, one example I can think of is, is um, the, the 2008 presidential campaign mm -hmm. where President Obama took the um, took re took the community organizing model where you take regular people who share the word word of mouth knock on doors and what he did is he infused them with viral campaigns so we had that my bo you may have seen uh, online and he gave these people viral tools so this is like your affiliate model your affiliates are people who are spreading it one by one word of mouth you know sending a blog sending out email and of course affiliates can blow up your business. Oh, but when sure. you give your affiliates viral tools, where now every affiliate is setting off these mini viral campaigns, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, it's game over. And, and actually, that brings me to another, and I know we got to end soon, but I, I have to put this in, is one of the most powerful benefits of viral marketing is when you get your business moving at an accelerated pace, it means it's speeding up over time, mm -hmm. it becomes literally impossible for your competitors to catch up with you. Because after you've been going at an accelerated rate, after you know a week, a month, you're moving at such a fast rate that even with the best viral campaign, they couldn't catch up to you because they have to move that much faster. So that's, a, that's probably the biggest reason to get viral marketing is so that your competitor doesn't get there first. And that's why uh, Twitter is, is hard. It's almost impossible to topple a company like Facebook or eBay or Amazon because they have moved at such an accelerated rate. Put that in your business and you become untouchable. You not only command and control the whole market, is you, you don't, you're immune to competition. It's just true. Look at the examples around you of viral companies and they can't be touched. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for I mean, wildfire, baby. Wildfire, I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm speechless. Good I'm ready stuff. to log back into Wildfire and get my campaigns going. <laughs> no kidding. It's like, who's getting any sleep tonight? We're going to be on the computer all that long. Yeah, thanks, Kyle. I want to be ahead of that <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, hey, I'm going to tell you, you know what, that was absolutely perfect timing because you got one of the most important aspects that you wanted to share with us, and that's awesome. But I've got to tell you, the time always comes so quickly, it's unbelievable. But we just want to tell you, Kyle, we are so excited that you not only came up with another incredible and phenomenal product. You know what? I have a feeling you're going to be on with us another 250 gazillion times <laughs> because as brilliant as you are, you're going to keep cranking stuff out. So I have a feeling this is not going to be the last time you're going to be on the show with us. But thank you again. It was awesome Ooh. seeing you. Awesome listening to your brilliance and the phenomenal things that you put together and sharing with our viewers some great examples of how they can take something that seems like it's so cumbersome and make it easy for, for an entry-level entrepreneur and for those that are even moving up in different areas that have more knowledge and expertise to be able to take a tool like this and just light it on wildfire. But anyway, thanks so much. I'm going to turn it back to Brian. Yeah, I couldn't agree with Kathy Moore, Kyle. Thank you once again for being on our show a third time. You are now tied with one other individual for the most appearances on the Celebrity Creator Show. I bet you didn't know that. We ought to make that a viral thing. I love it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, you are you are a man of integrity. I know that. Kathy knows that. Uh, we watch it tonight as you're talking and say, you know, I'm not here to you, – you don't have to buy this. I'm like, come on. You know, we, we you you are – who you are you are like so genuine and that's why we gravitate to you and when you come up with something new we know it's going to be top-notch and it's going to kick and I'm not gonna say the last word but you know behind uh, but you're, you're oh, come on. you know what you put out as far as quality is representative of who you are a quality individual and we cannot say enough how much we value not only our professional relationship but friendship with you and we hope to have you on as kathy said many more times so thank you once again my friend for coming on to our show i certainly appreciate it. it's always a pleasure it's always a pleasure to be on the show and yeah I'll, I'll definitely come back again but i certainly appreciate it i mean my biggest thing is a lot of people and including myself at one point was struggling with 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 you know search engine optimization pay-per-click and all this stuff you know, we hear the gurus talking about it works, you know, and it works, and it does work. That's that's what's so challenging about it, right. you know. And and I believe my opinion is that I've I, that there is a better way, there is an easier way, there is a way to be able to spend more time with your children and with your mm -hmm. family by 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 implementing a more leveraged strategy, and and right. hopefully with a tool like Wildfire or with any viral marketing, anything, it can help. You know, act how people achieve that, achieve that goal. Well, amen so to that's that. That's my goal. All right. Well, thanks once again. We're going to uh, sign off in just a moment, but be back. Oh, you're from you're you're live from Florida, correct? What part of Florida? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yes, sir. Florida. Right now, I'm in Stewart, Florida. Just got this new office a couple months ago, and so we awesome. are we are in Florida. All right. Fantastic. Yeah, we we have guests from all over, not just. The United States, but the world. In fact, next week, where are we going yeah. to be doing this from, Kathy? England. Who's our guest from? England. Yeah, jolly old awesome. England. So be sure to tune in then. Uh, and this show, watch it again because that was a lot of information. It will be up and available for all uh, after this uh, live version is over for a bit. But with that, we'd like to respect everyone's time. Thank you once again, Kyle, Kathy. As always, great show. We'll see you all back Bye. here again next week, same time. Good night, all. Good night. Take care.